This is Orodio Sioglan. No one lives here anymore. The village has been left untouched since June 1944, when it became the site of one of the worst Nazi massacres of French civilians during the Second World War. 642 people died that day. 247 of them were children. The men were rounded up and shot in barns. The women and children were herded into the local church, locked in and gassed before the building was set on fire. Only six people survived the slaughter. This afternoon, 70 years later, the German president will make a historic visit to the site, becoming the first German head of state to visit the village, left in ruins as a permanent memorial to those who died. He will be accompanied by the French president and two of the three living survivors. One of them, Marcel Dartu, is now 88 years old and welcomes the visit. Même 70 ans après, faut qu'il le voit. Even 70 years on, it's important that he sees, that he finally recognizes the existence of Oradour, because for a long time Oradour wasn't real for the Germans. On a walk around the old town, the mayor reflects on what the visit means. It's an acknowledgement by the German state of the atrocities committed in this very place. It helps us defend the fight we are leading against criminal ideologies. But the scars run deep in Oradour. For others old enough to remember, the German president's pilgrimage will do nothing to assuage the horror of what happened that day. Why do you want us to care about the German president? I'm from Oradour, the old town. It leaves me cold, sends shivers down my spine.